I added ray tracing to Ratchet and Clank Future. And here's how it looked. Alright then guys. So, in today's video we're gonna be looking at the future Ratchet and Clank series with ray traced shaders applied. Thank you to Pascal Gilcher for the RTG eye shader and all his hard work in making this shader possible. Let's get right into it. Shall we? Alright then. Let's take a look at Tools of Destruction first. Specifically Planet Mucow. But first let me just enable the correct shader preset real quick. Perfect. Alright now let's look at just how good this level can look. Look at all those reflections. Wow. And look at the lighting. With RTX on and then off. God damn. And just look at the lighting in this scene. Look at the way it casts on to Ratchet. Like Dambra. And look at the glowing eyes and reflections from these little fish things. With ray tracing once again enabled, and then disabled. Anyway, as you can see here, just like the last video, the reflections look pretty dookie when applied to grass. Not to worry though, it's an easy fix. Just switch out the shader preset to another one more suitable for the ground reflections. There we are. Perfect. How much better does that look? Look at that subtle green glow. The way the light bounces off the walls. Oh my. Anyway that's enough yapping about Mew Cow from me, let's move to another planet. And what better planet for me to go to than Cobalia. And look. I've even got my own preset for this exact level, but it can also be used on other dark interiors. Anyway, look at the green slime pipes. Look at that glow. Damn. And also, look at the glow from this bright green tube. Like god damn. I've also got a daytime shader preset that is used when the game is outside in daylight. And as you can see, it works well on this metal pole. It also has the side effect of making bright textures glow, unfortunately this is just something that happens when using this shader. And look at the glow from this water stuff, doesn't that look cool? And more glowing water. Anyway I'm about done with this level, let's move on to another one, shall we? Alright then guys, this is the last level I'm going to cover for the Tools of Destruction segment of this video, Planet Corthog. So as you can see, there are some pretty crazy reflections happening here. This is all thanks to my metallic reflections preset that is supposed to give metallic surfaces like those here on Corthog a shiny effect. And don't you guys forget. You can get access to all of these shader presets by simply joining any paid tier on my Patreon or by joining the channel membership. By doing this you will automatically gain access to the downloads section of my Discord server. You can see the reflective effect a lot better here too. Hold on, WTF is that? So if you couldn't already tell by now, there's a slight dark slash shadowy effect that happens to lighting slash reflections behind Ratchet, why this happens? I do not know. But I do know that it's annoying and ugly as fa. Here's another excellent example of the lighting effects. Look at how lit my boy looks. Look at these damn beautiful halls. With and without RTX enabled. Please don't forget if you are enjoying the video so far and you're not already subscribed. Please consider subscribing right now. Alright. Right before we conclude the Tools of Destruction segment of this video, I just wanted to show you this cool flamethrower. Look at the way the flames actually light up the ground. Amazing. Okay then guys, that concludes the Tools of Destruction segment of the video. Now it's time for a crack in time. And what better level to start on than Vorsalan's ship? I mean just look at those lights running up the magna boot path, and those reflections. This is once again thanks to my special metallic reflection shader preset. And I'm just going to let this scene speak for itself. Look at this scene. The way the fungoid staffs light up the walls. 
only bad thing is Quark's huge body creating a shadowy effect over the lighting. I really wish I knew why that happened. Look at this sick lighting. RTX on and then off. Look at the lava on this moon. The lighting as it bounces off the rocks. Wow! More lava. All right now, onto my favorite level, Axiom City. Look at all of the blue lighting everywhere. And the reflections on the ground by the hoverboot tramps. Nice. Some more crazy lighting. I feel like this is a pretty cool shot. Here is some more pretty cool lighting from Zola Forest. Look at how the flames actually create lights around the ground. And some cool stuff from the Great Clock. And even more cool Great Clock stuff. And look at those effects being projected onto the ship. And quickly onto Tombly Outpost. Look at how the snow bounces back onto Ratchet's face, and the lights in the background too. Look at how Ratchet's armor actually lights up his face slash helmet. Now that, looks good. Let's take a look at just a few more scenes from Tombly Outpost. And now for a couple of scenes from the Battleplex. Because why not? And now for a very special shout out to all of my Patreon slash YouTube members. Thank you guys so much for the support. Your support makes videos like these possible. Anyway if you'd like to watch another video one will be displayed on the screen now.